Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So it is June 1st and the big patch uh, for Fernbus Simulator has been released and I've been playing the game pretty much all morning, testing things out and uh, I'll be honest, I wish I had some good news to tell you guys, but uh, I really have very small amounts of good news to say about this patch. I don't understand why this patch was so large. Um, I, I just, I don't understand it. So let's talk about some of the good, at least. We'll start the video off that way. So right away, right on this screen here, you see my uh, my uh, my PSN ID. So the XP is finally working now. Um, I don't know if this is going to show anything. No, that's not. But that's actually adding up now, which before it wasn't. So that's fixed. Awesome. Um, so when we start a game, now we have the original Flixbus routes. We finally have that in here. There's only 18 of them. Um, so, uh, it is what it is. There it looks like there's some pretty decent ones here. Probably ones that we've already, uh, been to. But we're gonna do this route. We're not gonna run this route or anything like that, because there's a lot of other things I want to show you guys. Um, in this video, so let's go next. Uh, we don't want that. Let's just clear that up and let's start the game really quick. All right, guys, so here we are in the game. We're gonna go into the bus, and I'm gonna show you guys, um, what they added to the game. Okay, I don't know if they added this because they thought it would make the game better or what. So let's go over things that I like. So on the D-pad, if we press right on the D-pad, it zooms us right into the dashboard. So now we can finally see the uh, the gas gauge stuff. Let's just turn this on. So, I mean, very cool. You know, it's all animated, all that. You know, if you press the, uh, the gas, it rubs up. You see the clock, 10.32 a.m., that's pretty cool. And if we press right again on the D-pad, it brings us back to this view. So that's awesome. When you're doing those long runs and continuous runs, and you're like, how how do I see where my gas is? Well, you just press right on the D-pad, and it brings you right to it. So now we come to the problem where apparently this was supposed to be uh, the button for the cruise control, but it's mapped to that. So the cruise control isn't working. It, the cruise control isn't mapped to a button. And now if we press left on the D-pad, we get this. Very much like Tours Bus Simulator, we can kind of go through all of the different views. Again, in my personal opinion, this is unneeded. We don't need that. Um, we have mouse and keyboard support now, so I think you could probably do this with that if you really wanted to do that. Um, but the good thing is, is that if we scroll through here like this, right? Instead of having to scroll all the way through, if we just press left, uh, right on the D-pad, it'll bring us back here, and then one more time, it'll get us back there. So we don't have to cycle through all that. And now, the, the addition that I have just been scratching my head all morning about that I just don't understand is the zoom. So if we press up on the D-pad, we have three levels of zoom. And for the life of me, I don't understand what this is for. And if we press down, we can zoom back out. I just, I don't understand it. It's it's not needed. There's literally no good reason to have this in the game. Up and down could have been used for the retarder and headlights. It could have been used for headlights and windshield wipers. It could have been used for retarder and windshield wipers. It could have been used for, you know, cruise control. In a retarder? I don't know. It, it could have been used for a lot of different things that would have been much more useful than doing this. And they claim this is something that the community wanted. Who? Who in the community? Who who has who has said played this game and said, God, I wish I could just zoom right in? I don't understand I don't understand it. I, I didn't see anybody when I was in the official Discord begging for that feature. I don't see anybody in Fabian's Discord begging for that feature. Um, on all of his videos, I haven't seen any comments of anybody wanting this feature. I don't understand it. it to me, it was a waste. 
So, uh, as we're talking about the good stuff, um, we'll continue that. I have one more good thing to talk about, and then we'll uh, we'll get into to the rest of it. Okay, guys. So part of the uh, the good things I would say is that this is France. All right, um, we have a semi in front of us with the trailer. Um, as far as I can see so far, there are no tractor and trailers that are bobtailing anymore in the game. They all have tractors on them. If I'm being 100% honest, that's not something that I cared too much about. You know, I get it's an immersion thing, but in the bigger scheme of things with the game, it, that was just small potatoes. It's just something that I, I felt, you know, isn't the most urgent thing. So, this is France, and what I wanted to show you guys is that in France, there's no more flickering as far as I could tell. I haven't driven around all of France now, you know what I mean? So, you know, keep that in mind. But the parts of France that I have drove around look like this. There's no more of that weird flickering that you've seen where it would get, uh, it would get bright and dark and bright and dark, and it would just flicker like that through the whole thing, and it was very disorienting and just uh just not a lot of fun that's why i really haven't been doing a lot in france um because that flickering was just driving me crazy it does seem like it's fixed now on roads that look like this um it seemed like the flickering was really intense it, it happened a lot and as you can see now um it looks good it looks good and also from what i could tell the game feels a lot smoother when driving around france as well so i feel like that's a good thing um i kind of feel like overall after this patch the game is running smoother so um good on them for for fixing that i guess so uh yeah let's see here uh the good stuff the good stuff uh smoother no more flickering in france um i guess trailers on the back of semis uh, again to me that wasn't a big deal but uh yeah i think that's uh that's it for the uh the good stuff so now <laughs> let's uh let's talk about some of the uh the bad stuff so the first thing that jumps right out at me is that the day to night and night to day transitions are still not fixed and we still have mountains uh heading into to paris now these will disappear as you get close to them but i mean come on at this point in the game with, with all of the patches that we've had so far the fact that that's still in the game is just it's just unbelievable you know it's just it's just pure laziness and uh i, I don't know now six o'clock this is six o'clock a.m six a.m on June 1st in Paris. Now, I don't know I don't know what the, the time of days look like in Paris. This seems still just incredibly dark to me. Right? And so we're gonna be making a turn up here very shortly and you guys are gonna see that the shadows for this time of day are just ridiculously dark. And again the day to night transition it looks identical. It's still, it's way too bright. The night sky turns pitch black, but yet yeah, everything else stays lit up as if it was noon. It, it, it's horrible. I mean, you know, it. to me, them constantly bragging that this is Unreal Engine 5 and oh, we just upgraded to Unreal 5.1. Why? What has it done? You're not utilizing any of the lighting from, from that. And I mean, if they claim they are, then that's a huge slap in the face to Unreal 5 because, you know, the lighting in the game looks good as long as you're starting the game when it's it's at that time of day. So again, if I start her out already at night, it looks fine. But that transition doesn't look good. So now here we are. Here we're coming up to this again. Look how dark this is. I mean, I could be wrong, but to me, this just doesn't look good. It just doesn't look good. And... I mean, look at look how dark this is. We're making this turn. I can barely see the road. 
I mean, look how dark this is. Th there's no way. There's no way it should look this dark. Just unacceptable. And, I mean, how long is it going to take to get this fixed? Fabian said that it's hard to recreate. Well, maybe he should stop playing on the, uh, the dev kit. And maybe actually play on an actual console to see how bad it looks. But again, it seems like TML and Aerosoft, they don't really care how bad a game looks. They think it looks good on their end, and that's all that matters. So that's, uh, that's the first kind of bad part about this whole update. Okay, so in this clip, I'm going to give them a good and a bad. Okay, I'm going to give them kind of a, a half a thumbs up but then a thumbs down because now we are driving um, in stormy weather. And again, on console, there's no lightning, there's no thunder. There's literally no point in having the stormy weather on there because all it does is rain harder. That's it. We're not getting any of the lightning, any of the thunder, anything like that. Again, it's just, it's things that, you know... We were supposed to have, this was supposed to be just like the PC. We were supposed to get everything that the PC had, and we don't. And it's just, it's misleading. Uh, and it's misinformation given by Aerosoft. You know, because they're the only ones that, that post videos about it. You know, and yeah, it's Fabian. Fabian's the one that posts the videos. You know, he said in the beginning, and he even showed it on, you know, the dev kit that water sprays from the back of the vehicles. We don't get that. We've never had that. Never had that on a console. That's never been a thing. That's something that he showed on the dev kit. But see, Fabian, he never shows us any game footage that's not from the dev kit. So everything he shows us, everything is working. Everything's working fine on his version because he's on the dev kit. Okay, but it's not working in any of the live games. It's not working on Xbox. It's not working on PS5. It's not working on your copy of the game. It's not working at my copy of the game. And it's deceitful. It's deceitful to make people think that these things are working when they're not. And you never address it. Again, we got a patch. We got no patch notes. Okay, these developers and this publisher, they refuse to let you know what they did to the game and why is that any other developer would be proud to let you know that they fixed this and they fixed this but no instead they want us the consumer to test it and figure out what they fixed and didn't fix and then just be incredibly disappointed again knowing that they didn't fix anything okay so the uh the thumbs up that i can give them the half a thumbs up that i'll give them for this is that those horrible looking black circles that you got behind the vehicles when it rains, they have reduced those to just like two black lines. Okay, and conveniently, even though I have the traffic bumped up, conveniently, I don't have a ton of tra traffic in front of me to show you guys. So that's just really unfortunate. And, you know, it's just, it's just making me think more and more that Either the big things in the game just aren't going to get fixed or every patch, they're going to just fix little itty bitty pieces here and there. You know, why was this patch 10 gigs? It was 10 gigs and they didn't even get it right. Okay. Again, they said that they fixed the AI. Uh, well, here's the problem. The AI sliding around, that was an Xbox issue. That wasn't a PS5 issue. So basically on PS5... The AI is the exact same. The AI they've done nothing to. The AI still just stops dead in front of you. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's not fixed. So, literally, this patch, they didn't fix anything. They didn't fix anything. It's just another big disappointment, which, you know what? Again, I, I didn't get my hopes up about the patch. You know what I mean? It, it would have been nice for them to, to fix the bigger issues that the game has. I don't think that's ever going to happen. I don't think we're ever going to see proper wheel support in the game. I don't think we're ever going to see force feedback. 
you know, I think that this is just going to be a game where they're going to put out DLC. Everybody's going to buy it and eat it up like it's candy. And they're not going to fix any of the issues with the game that should be fixed. I mean, I don't feel like any of these problems with the game should be so difficult that they can't fix it. And again, if it has anything to do with the company that they're using to port the game over, then you know what? Get rid of them. Get a new developer. Get a new team to do it. Maybe do it yourself. I don't know. But here's the bottom line. When I start up this game, it says Unreal Engine. It says TML. It says Aerosoft. Okay? The, uh, the company that ports it, you got to go dig in all the way in the credits of the game to see them even mentioned. So to me, this is a fail on TML and Aerosoft. Not the company that they chose to port it over for them because their name isn't even involved in this game. TML and Aerosoft are benefiting from it. It's still their game. It's still their responsibility, okay? If this company that's porting it isn't doing a good job, then TML and or Aerosoft, they need to do something about that to fix it. That's the bottom line, right? And I, I'm just really, really thinking that Aerosoft and TML and Aerosoft and every developer that Aerosoft works with just really doesn't care. They don't care about the customers. They don't care about the products. They just don't care. They can't because why would you align yourself with a company like Aerosoft with their attitude, okay, if you cared at all? You know, that's just uh, that's just my opinion, guys. Like I said, I'm going to keep covering the game, though. I really hope that things get fixed. Uh, I got a feeling that if, and that's a big if, if they do get fixed, it's going to take a long time. And we're going to have to go through several of these 10 gig patches where they add stupid things that nobody wants and they fix one little thing here or there. Uh, so I don't know, guys. I, again, I wish I had better news for you all. I really do. I wish I, I could have came on here and said, man, the patch is great. They fixed all the things that needed to be fixed and everything's working great. The fact of the matter is they, they just they didn't. They didn't fix anything. They're still doing the same thing where there's no communication. They don't want to release patch notes. They don't want to tell you what they fixed and what didn't get fixed. They just want you as a customer to also be a tester and, you know, figure these things out for yourselves. It's just, it's really horrible. It really is. Um, but you know what? That's why you have YouTubers like me here that I can test it and I can tell you guys what it is so you guys don't have to spend, you know, hours and hours poking and prodding. But you know what? I know a lot of you do enjoy doing stuff like that. So if you found out anything else in the game that they fixed, please drop it in the comments. Um, if you found any bugs that have come up since the patch, drop that in the comments as well. I'd love to hear all about it. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day anyway. Um, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And we'll see you next time, guys. PlayStation.